out leaving home just to change my phone plan. Hello, switching from my sofa. Goodbye, everything you can. Hello, Google Fire for playing that game. What about the planets? Do you know how many planets there are? Let's make a model of the solar system. <laughs> Huh? Distinguished by his signature hockey mask, the overall look of Crystal Lake's resident killer might be mistaken as being somewhat similar from Friday to Friday. But that's not to say there hasn't been some Friday major upgrades with every appearance. So in this yeah, video, we will be breaking all 12 versions of Jason Friday to Friday. I know Friday the 13th, but you said Friday to Friday. What is up, Scream Team? Zach Cherry here. Guys, I started this channel because I'm a huge horror geek. And if you're like me, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure to turn on those bell notifications, as it's the optimal way to make sure you never miss a single one of my videos. As always, a few caveats for this list. First off, we're only going to be ranking the versions of Jason as seen in the official Friday the 13th franchise. We also won't be including young Jason from the original film or Roy from A New Beginning. Secondly, these rankings are going to be based on the overall aesthetic of each version of Jason. That will include the mask, the makeup effects of Jason's face where applicable, and the clothing worn by Jason himself, as well as any other little flourishes added to the design. Lastly, these are just my personal opinions. They might not be your ideal ranking, but guess what? Welcome to the internet. With that in mind, toss this video a thumbs up and leave me in the comments down below to let me know how you would rank all 12 cinematic versions of Jason Voorhees. Coming in in last place is going to be the version from Freddy vs. Jason. I do want to preface this by saying that I am a huge fan of Dane Potter as Jason. I think that he's probably the best Jason that plays the role. But similar to my rankings for the Michael Myers masks, I don't want the actor who's playing the role of Jason to be a deciding factor in how I rank them. I will say that I have nothing against Ken Kurzinger as Jason. As a matter of fact, I have mad respect for any of the actors who play Jason throughout all of the movies. My biggest problem with this version it isn't even the fact that he's way too big or you know, bigger than Kane Hodder would have been, bigger we? than Freddy, but just the fact that his head seems so much smaller than the rest of his body, and it's only exacerbated by the mask, which also seems too big for the face, and he's wearing that huge baggy jacket, which just adds to the overall look of everything being too oversized for him. Jason's skin kind of resembles a seal cut here. It always looks like it's either wet or it's just some sort of shiny metallic finish to it. I don't like the fact that we can see the eyes through the mask, so... Oh no, that's kind of creepy. You can tell that the one droopy eye is really sad. Something that I will mention again on this list uh, is the fact that Jason has hair here, but it's the uh, long, wispy hair, like sort of like the grayish-white you see, mostly in the New Line era. I can't really grade this one based 21. on the design of Jason's face, as we don't even really get to see it. There's the one quick shot of Kelly. 31. We were having a turret versus turret battle. Got him! But we were having a turret versus turret battle. Really? Yeah. Right there behind you, behind you! The mask itself doesn't seem to really want to commit to any one continuity. They do get the uh, triangle markings right, but then there's no axe wound to the forehead or motorboat damage to the side of the jaw. And I get that this is New Line and they were trying to distance themselves from the Paramount movies, but then Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell did include these details, so why not here? The only thing that I really like about this mask, which only occurs Bro, I'm going off right now. Uh, this guy's driving off with me. Bro, I'm going off right now. In 11th place is going to be Jason X, the uh, hockey mask version that we predominantly see throughout the movie. The biggest change about this one, mostly in the mask, is that it's not the same shape that we've seen in literally every other movie. While the other masks are round, this one is more angular, which can especially be seen with the nose. The mask does have all the previous maps and both damage to it, but it appears to be more subtle than usual. And the straps are connected on the inside of the mask, rather on the outside. Jason's skin tone here also seems a lot more human. This could be explained by the fact that in the movie they introduced this new mythology that's 
states that Jason has the ability to regenerate sure lost and damaged tissue, which could suggest that he's slowly he turning back of, into a human, even though I do not him. like that idea at all. It also looks like he has a lot more hair than usual. It's very patchy as well. You can especially notice no. that in that first scene where the guard throws the sheet over top of his head. And it's almost as if Kate Hodder is just wearing the Jason mask over top of his regular head. I think his wardrobe is kind of me. boring. Just get off me! Seven, you're on me, get off me! In every way possible. Wow. He's got that tattered up jacket, which doesn't even look like a jacket, it looks like a ratty shawl. In terms of the design of the space, we don't really get to see Bro! It's just that quick shot of Adrian lifting the oh, mask up, which is pretty much obviously on him. But judging by these production stills here, it just looks like someone took Jason's head and stuck it in a microwave for a minute. In 10th place is going to be the hockey mask version from the 2009 reboot. Again, I want to preface this by saying that this is nothing against Derek Mears. I think that every single one of these stuntmen and actors did a phenomenal job playing the role. I just find this design of Jason to be kind of boring and disproportionate. First off, there's way too much exposed neck here. Like, the neck is huge, and the mask is just this tiny little mask that sits on top of it. So, it does look very awkward. I understand that they wanted to go back to a more traditional look for the mask, as it does have the three red triangles again. But because this movie exists in a different timeline, we don't get any of that wear and tear continuity. I guess that there wouldn't be any, as he does find the mask in the movie, so he wouldn't have had any history with it. But this mostly just looks like the Freddy vs. Jason mask. It's not as dirty looking, but it still has that brown tinge to it. If they were really wanting to go old school with the traditional look for Jason, then just give him a button down. Like, what's with this jacket and shirt combo that was somehow popular in Freddy vs. Jason? I'm done. I need five more gold to get a purple spaz. I'm done. You're going for the hair lip and the droopy eye. But mostly this just looks evocative of something from Wrong Turn. What's his name? Three Finger. He's got the wispy white hair and sort of a melted looking face. In ninth place is going to be Uber Jason. And what? I, I think that mask is sick. Uber Jason this low because it was such a novel idea to even do anything like that within the franchise. But it's all just part of the fun of how terrible Jason is. I mean, me? it served the purpose that it was supposed to. He was dead and then came back to life through nanotechnology that turned him into a space cyborg. He looks like something out of Power Rangers. He's got the, the Predator-style mask. You know, there's nothing inherently wrong with Uber Jason. He's just ranked this low because he's never going to be better than classic Jason. I can't in good conscience put him over those other ones, so he just unfortunately lands here. In eighth place is going to be 2009 Sackhead Jason. This one actually may be the scariest Jason of all of them. It's just really freaky and it works very effectively as well. There are some differences from the part two Jason with this one, whereas that actually looks like a potato sack over top of his head tied up with a rope. This one just looks like a sheet that's been kind of wrapped around and tied up. Not gonna lie, if I saw this guy running towards me, I would probably shit myself. I also find Same. that it complements the overall outfit with the jacket way what? better than the hockey mask that does. Sucks. At least the sack covers what? the neck. I was one hoping we could this post this just, if we won, but now it's like he's not shooting so and they heard that, so. Whereas the part two one, I feel, pops out at you a little bit more. This one just seems so like win, it was something torn out really of a horror video. Yeah. In seventh place, yes! Jason lives. What I do like about this one is that it has a very purple spaz, purple spaz, purple spaz, purple spaz, purple spaz. Everything else in this franchise. Oh, we're gonna use that for the purple. Well, I should not. The tree makes it look like tree bark. Should I get it? Sure. He's sort of a collector of things in this movie. He's always picking up new accessories as he moves along. He starts with Tommy's yellow gloves from the beginning, and then takes the utility belt from the paintballer. But I guess the one minor gripe I have about that is that Jason, as a zombie now, how does he have the wherewithal to do any of that? It's like, he's looking at this belt and thinking that that's really going to complement the rest of my ensemble. I could see him doing this in Friday 2, 3, or 4, but by this point, he's just a walking corpse. Like, why is he collecting shit? The mask is also kind of off in terms of continuity. The black straps are now brown leather, and there's only one red triangle just on the brow, which doesn't appear to be worn off like it was at the end of Friday the 13th, the final chapter. It could be reason that this was a new design built by Tommy, as he did like to make his own mask, or maybe he did actually hold on to Jason's mask and cleaned it up a little. I burned a little bit? 
He's burning more, more. He's dead. 23. He's gonna die. Doesn't explain why the axe wound in the forehead is now a lot narrower than it was. Obviously, it's a friend of 13. So I'm not gonna overthink it, but I will say that I prefer to look at the black. Right there. I need ARMO. Did they get out? As well? There's three kids here. Not just two. Help. Come Oh! 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 Oh my god. Where do you have the 500 IQ slate? Look what I'm doing. And because it's embedded right into the skin, this is the only time that we never actually see Jason's face. Do you have rocket ammo? Yes. Give me, give me. Run it. He's swimming down, swimming down. I'm thunderfuck. Okay. Dead. Bro, I'm actually doing good with the combat AR. I used to hate it. I don't like it now. Even more toxic waste, but I mean that was paramount. This is new line. I don't think that they were. Really well, I kind of like the much, combat the AR now. They just wanted to upgrade the design wait, of Jason. Wait, no, we can't. They probably okay, had this a bigger one. budget to do oh. it as. Because remember that trim? We can Jason ask your dad to trim that for me. Also, he has those um, huh? those strands. Oh, we can try to figure it out ourselves. How to trim that? And this might be the only time where I actually like that look on the design of Jason. That's it, just this one. In fifth place is going to be Sackhead Jason. Well, we're obviously going to win this. There's no way we're not. We're doing because so good. I absolutely good. adore Sackhead really Jason. I've had this that. figure from Sideshow Collectibles no, 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 for, I don't know, like 20 years <laughs> when I first came out. I don't prefer I mean, him over the hockey be. mask version, but I just love the fact that it's like a hillbilly <laughs> with a sack on his head. Especially when you see the look of the face underneath the mask, it's basically just Quasimodo from Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. The design of the face was obviously inspired by the Elephant Man, and the mask was inspired by the town that dreaded sundown. Minutes. They clearly what? wanted to go for more of the backwoods hillbilly because he's sporting the denim overalls and the blue pipe. I if it has, then we can't upload it. Yeah, I think it has. And I think my sister just came up here. Hey, really? And then, of course, the sack is just secured around his neck with some loose rope, indicating that this is an ensemble that is something he probably threw together himself from loose materials he found lying around, much like the way he built his shack. And just given the history of the character, or at least what we knew about him, in, the bush? in Friday the 13th Part 1 going into Part 2, this seemed to be the most realistic depiction that one? of what nice. this character might have looked like after all of these years. Get off me! Interesting history on who it was that actually came up with the idea to give Jason the hockey mask is nobody's really 100% claimed ownership of the idea. Sean Cunningham said that it was director Steve Miner who came up with the idea because he was a huge fan of hockey. And Larry Zerner, who played the character of Shelly, said that it was actually the greedy supervisor Marty Saddle, as they knew they just needed something more eye catching that would have popped out of the screen. As the potato sack. Mythic. 
That was sick. Oh. Mostly, this one just looks like a bloated version of the Master from Season 1 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The second base is the double Flash Battle Sculpt, which retains the same look as the first two movies with kind of the droopy eye, but this was deemed to be too unrefined by Steve Miner. It was only used in Chris's flashback sequence, but it is again mostly obscure. I know that! After this, Doug White is the Master the Third and Final Sculpt, which is the one that we see in the movie during Jason's unmasking no side of the bar, which still looks a little goofy to me, but out of the three that they did make, this one is definitely the most nice. interplay. Well, the, the mech is here. Takes Manhattan. I'm guessing this no, is those guys are going for the mech! Now, not granting the movie a larger budget, but there's not a lot of continuity in Jason's world from the last movie to this one. Oh, oh my god! god. Self destruct? Really? Can you move, please? Thank you. Hurry on, come back. Dead. No, I don't. Bro, I'm going off. But we're going to have to, like, record this, bro. We should have recorded this. I'm going off. But then the continuity with the rest of the mask is completely off. Markings are narrower, and the arrows are pointing in the wrong direction. Again, I'm probably being way too nitpicky about this, but if this becomes a brand new mask, why even include the axe mark to begin with? What I do really like about this mask is that it has a very yellowish finish. It kind of makes it pop out a little bit. It gives it a distinct flavor of the other I also love how Jason is a little bit cracked. I cracked both of them. Got one. Help, help, help. He just, he just healed him. The only thing that's really holding this is that when he's unmasked, we see the design of the face. Go spash. He has always just looked like a rotten, holy Um, there's more rockets on me. I'm a gold spash. But it's such a step down from the zombie look that we saw for him. In second place is going to be Jason from the final chapter. This is pretty much the same design from Part Street, just cool. showing a lot more wear and tear. The yeah, red paint solos. on the brow triangle is now Both past the top. Wait, look, one died. Thunderbolt! Oh, by Ari killed him. The last movie, which he had stated with blood. But besides that, the fact that this is elevated just a little bit higher on the screen. 14 kills and you only got one! Well, I mean, you were stealing all of them and running off. Yeah, how do you keep getting shot in there? And look, you kept running off while healing. For the animatronics effect that they had for the double, I would say that I'm probably more of a man of Jason than I am of Zombie Jason. And you might know this if you are 